Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Mario Sign. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. We're now be seated. Today is Thursday, February 17th, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Welcome to our brain break in SEL technique. Today, we will meditate by breathing in and out with headspace. Possibly just taking a big, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, noticing how the body expands as you breathe out just watching the body soften as you gently close the eyes and rather than the mind leading the breath allow the breath to lead the mind notice the sensation of the breath so relax with us next time for our next brain break and SEL technique now let's go to word of the day Hey, Anjali, what you working on? Oh, I'm working on this puzzle. It's very intricate. Oh, that sounds cool. But what does intricate mean? Oh, intricate means complicated or detailed. Oh, yeah, I guess that does look very complicated. You want to help? Sure. See you next time on Word of the Day. Let's check in with Valencia for today's Black History Month segment. Thank you, Vani. Hey Patriots, today in Black History we're going to be talking about Shirley Chisholm. Shirley was born November 30th, 1924. She became the first African American woman ever elected to Congress, but her journey there wasn't easy. Through all the challenges she faced, she persevered and continued to fight. She's even become one of Jamaica's ambassadors, founded the National Congress of Black Women, and even ran for president. Although she didn't win the election, she certainly broke barriers and influenced change everywhere. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Valencia. Sports fans, our boys' basketball team played their fourth game this past Tuesday. Our Patriots played against Hillel's Lions. We won with a score of 55-36, to and the MVP was James with 17 points. Good job, Patriots. Keep the wins coming. Also, our girls' soccer team played this past Tuesday. They lost with a score of 7-0, to but I think we can always make a comeback. In other news, Nathan Chen has always been a household name in the world of ice skating for years, and he was finally able to cement his legacy by winning an Olympic gold medal last week. In the 2018 Winter Olympics, he had a disappointing finish and missed the mark. This time around, he redeemed himself with a flawless performance which he credits to his mother for encouraging him and his siblings to always work hard, enjoy what they love, and keep very high standards. This guy is as cool as ice. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is crunchy chicken tenders, seasoned diced potatoes, baby carrots, ranch dressing, diced apples, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. But of a tea, let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, it's time to show how we feel about black history. Today you can create a one-slide PowerPoint on a black actor or actress and email it to Miss Tucker and tomorrow you can show off your Black History Month attire. I look forward to seeing your creativity. Teachers, today is your last day to upload your class photos and videos for this week to the News Around the School OneDrive folder. You can also email Mr. Santiago if you need the link. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Sports fans, today our boys basketball team and our girls soccer team both have a game against Cooper City. Both games start at 4 p.m. Let's go, Patriots. I hope we win. Patriots, the book fair starts tomorrow, Friday, February 18th. I'm sure the books will be fantastic.
look at the schedule to see when your class is going. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thanks, Ronnie. Hey, Patriots. Looks like today's weather in Pines is 82 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Looks like the sun is shut out, so look forward to some outside sports. In other weather news, nature seems to be in a creative mood. Recently, a northern lake in China has many ice spheres trapped under the frozen lake. These ice balls form when waves driven by wind move and go over tiny chunks of ice causing them to unite into each other while the water on top freezes and traps the ice inside. Just imagine ice skating on that lake. It must be fascinating. Now let's go to Vani for Patriot on the Go. Good morning. Welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm Vani Osayan. Now let's hear Patriot's answers to our question. If you could breathe underwater or have wings, which one would it be? Hi, would you like to get interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question for you. Would you rather be able to breathe underwater or have wings? Be able to breathe underwater. Oh, and why is that? Because I'm really a, a, a underwater person. Oh, cool. You like the sea and ocean? Yeah. Oh, cool. I love that. Well, thank you. Now, let's see your next Patriot. Would you rather be able to breathe underwater or be able to have wings? Have wings. And why is that? Because I get to fly around looking at different places. Oh, cool. Is there any specific reason besides that? Nope. Oh, cool. Oh. Would you rather be able to breathe underwater or have wings? Have wings. And why is that? Because I like looking at the sky. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, thank you. Now it's your next Patriot. Okay. How would you like to interview? Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. Would you rather have wings or be able to breathe underwater? Wings. And why is that? Because I can fly. Oh, cool. Is there any specific reason, like, besides flying? Like, any certain character that has wings? Birds. Birds? You want to be like a bird? Oh, cool. Nice. Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to the question, would you rather have wings or be able to breathe underwater? Well, that's it for Patriot on the Go. See you next time. Bye. Thank you, Vani. Today's birthday boys and girls are Jolene Authoriste, Isabella Rivero, Anais Rugel, Gianna Reynoso Vasquez, Mia Carella, Lisa Compier, Bryson Hazel, and Jameer Lewis. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Santori and Miss Only. You both had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, before Miley Cyrus recorded Wrecking Ball, it was offered to which singer? The correct answer is Beyonce. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What does Lady Gaga affectionately call her fans? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!